that was a lot of fun hanging out with celeb celebs rubbing elbows. You know, I did a cute Yes, so, yes. And um, those are fun. We did more interviews from that. You can find the videos on YouTube or airing right here on ON TV. Uh, joining us now is uh, President and CEO of the Chamber of Commerce, Joyce Donaldson. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So excited to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you have so much to talk about. I hope we can squeeze it all in. <laughs> we do. We're, we're, we're gearing up for fall. Yeah. yeah. Don't talk about fall yet. Yeah, we were know, just saying ready, how quickly <laughs> summer is going by. But uh, let's focus on some of the things that are coming up uh, real soon. Less than a week away is the big golf outing and it sounds like it's going to be a really big deal this year talk about that yeah it's super fun um i'm just really excited we have almost 200 businesses that have participated in some way or another so we have 100 golfers which is sold out that's the most golfers we've ever had um so we sold out at 100 and we sold out all of our sponsorships who does that <laughs> so and you can see here that you are a sponsor closest to the pen and we're so excited to have you and all of your team join us that day to help film and kind of um, promote the um, pr promote the community. So we're super okay. excited. We have 37 raffle baskets that we'll be raffling away. We have all kinds of great prizes and contests. And uh, new this year, I just have to say, is Best Dressed Women and Best Dressed Men. So I'm excited <laughs> about that. We also knew this year is we have a big trophy. So the winning uh, team will get their name on the perpetual trophy. So I can't wait to see the winning team kissing <laughs> that trophy. So I'm really excited about that. I think with the Wimbledon just on, I was so in the mood. <laughs> yeah. You know, that picture that they always take. And yeah. so I wanted that picture for this chamber as well. So we have a lot of new things this year. And um, I'm just forever energized by all the enthusiasm and all of the participation from all of the members. They're just coming out of the woodwork. They want to donate to the swag bags or donate to the raffle, golf, sponsor. So I'm eternally grateful. That's fantastic. That's great. So how does it work? Are there foursomes? Is it, is it yeah, going to be a... It's a four-person scramble. Okay. So um, we are selling like survivor kits that might help those folks along, <laughs> as well as um, skins that could help you know, lower the score for the winning team. But, you know, for the most part, I think we have um, golfers that are just enthusiastic about coming out and spending the day with similar minded folks. Okay. Um, and hopefully they won't take it too seriously. I don't know. I know some of those guys. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> does this act as a fundraiser for the chamber? How does the chamber benefit from the golf outing? Absolutely. So this is actually our largest fundraiser of the year. So um, the net profit will help keep the lights on, as I say, yeah. um, you know, help um, help us continue to do the um, beneficial and relevant programming that we have um, for our members and for the community. Um, one of the new things that we're also doing this fall is our new State of the Community in which we have um, Supervisor um, Chris Barnett coming out to give an update on the township. We have um, Village President Jerry Narsh coming out to give an update on the village and we have Sheriff Bouchard coming out oh, to wow. give an update on the county. So that also is something new that we are going to be working on and that is in October. So take a look at that. So you said that's something you want to uh, offer more often throughout the year is, is these uh, legislative updates and exactly. state of the community sort of a thing. That sounds great. Yeah. So for Chambers of Commerce, it is one of our key goals that we work to achieve. There is really no other community organization that usually does this and so it is the chambers I feel it's my responsibility to provide access and um, access and information for our local regional state and um, federal leaders so this year right I just introduced the good morning legislative breakfast in which we had um, state senator state right, senator the, the senator representing Michigan is yes congress yes yeah. US congresswoman um, Debbie Stabenow. So that was really successful. That also was sold out. So it tells me, you know, that the community is wanting this or my members are wanting this mm -hmm. accessibility. So that was a huge, um, hugely popular. And then our state of the community. And then as well as just providing the accessibility, like I said, especially to local and regional um, leaders on a regular basis. So my goal is to do that at least four times a year. And I think this year I'll be doing it like five to six times. Yeah. So I think I've achieved my goal. Yeah, that yeah. communication is so important. Yeah. Now we mentioned a little while ago that the big rig gig is coming up in a couple of weeks and the chamber is going to have a presence there. Talk about what you're going to be offering at big rig gig. Great. Well, thank you. 
So it just seemed logical when I came here that the chamber held a food truck festival and the Orion Parks and Rec had um, a big rig gig and they needed food, we needed people. So with a built-in audience of four to 5,000 people, I said, let's do the food truck festival at the big rig gig and Parks and Rec was like, yes, let's yeah. do it. So um, they did limit me to like 10 food trucks. I immediately got 10 food trucks and have a long waiting list of more food trucks that wanna join in on the fun. So they pay a fee and they are a, they pay, the fee is paid to the chamber for the food truck festival. And they come in, you know, we make sure that they have their, all of their licenses, insurances and all, all that. Um, and then they'll come in and they'll be able to service the four to 5,000 people that are there at the big rig gig. So families, right? Yeah. So we have everything from like lobster food trucks to taco food trucks mm. to tea oh. to bunt cakes to funnel cakes you know a lot of the traditionals yeah. but um some unusual ones as well we also have a really cool vegan lady that oh. vegan food truck that's coming so with the lobster one it just cracks me up because i'm like who at a food truck or you know who at the <laughs> big rig gig like it's families do kids really eat lobster but they do they, they do, do. Yeah. so as soon as i put that out there i mean i had 10 food trucks just like that that's yeah. great and still have a wait list yeah, yep. this could be shaping up to be the biggest big rig gig. It, it today. could be. I was going to say that this was always a popular event, the big yeah. rig gig, when my kids were younger and they've kind of, you know, they're in college, high school. It's not quite so much, but you add food trucks and that changes <laughs> everything. So Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Uh, another thing that seems to have a really heavy presence lately with the chamber are the programs and services geared toward women. And you have uh, this OWLS group, Orion Women Leaders. Uh, talk about that event that's coming up. Yeah, so we actually just had one a couple of weeks ago as well. We had a yoga class. We're calling them Friday night fun nights. Every woman, especially with children, you're working, you need a fun night out. And so um, our Orion Women Leaders Steering Committee early on in the year, we decided we're gonna do six events. So we're doing three eye-opener uh, coffees. We did one last week and it was packed at Tim Hortons which was great. And we did allow men into that one as well. <laughs> and then um, coming up, we have a pottery class that we're doing um, at the Orient Art Center. So that'll be really fun. And then I think in the, in the later, in the closer to the holidays, we're doing like a soap making class. Um, so three Friday fun days, three morning eye opener coffees, and that's with the Orion Women Leaders. So we have a really strong group and they also assist with the Women in Business Conference that we had on International Women's Day this past March 8th. Oh, that looked really well attended too. That was it fantastic. sold out as well. So yeah. we, I know that, um, you know, I'm still new here. I've been here eight months, but I can see that the programming, new programming that I'm bringing um, is kind of really well received. And again, I come with an arsenal. I've been in the business for 20 years. And so I come with a toolbox that with proven programs. And so I'm just introducing them. If they work, they work. And if they don't, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But you've been bringing in some great speakers too. And I'm sure that's a big draw. Yeah, and we're really excited also about our back to school educational workshops this fall. So in September, um, I'm bringing right here to the Orion Center We'll have the SBA 101 is the name of the class. And they'll be um, here at the Orion Center for a breakfast. And then in addition to that, we have a minority owned um, business consultant that not a consultant, it's a, it's a federal organization that will be coming out to talk about um, eth uh, ethnic minority businesses and all the resources, funding, et cetera, mm. that are available to them as well as women-owned businesses. And then in October, our series will feature ONTV on a marketing <laughs> and media uh, workshop. So we're excited about that as well. That's so again, nice. education is a big part of the Chamber's mission. Yeah, I really, you know, I, I love the relationship that ONTV has with the Chamber. And just this past Friday, we were out in the community and there was a big ribbon cutting at uh, Spresser Ogden Attorneys at Law in downtown Lake Orion. And uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. They were telling us a story how in January they spotted that that beautiful home on Shadbolt was up for sale, uh, which I assume is zone re uh, uh, business commercial. or commercial. Yeah. Uh, they made an offer, moved in, did some renovations, 
opened their doors in May, and then we had a big ribbon cutting this past uh, Friday, and it was just really great to see that the turnout and the food it was and the unbelievable. Fun. Yeah, and and that's just one of many ribbon cutting ceremonies that uh, the community enjoys throughout the year. Talk about that and, and the perks of membership of being part of the chamber. Well, thank you for asking that. <laughs> so, you know, membership um, in the chamber just provide you with a lot, provide you with a lot of resources, right? Communication, resources, access to the um, leadership um, of the community, like I said, but also this community in particular, I want to say you join the chamber and it's like my ambassadors and my groups, they just wrap their arms right around these businesses and help them navigate, especially when they're new, right? They need, you know, they need some mentorship and they need to know what to expect next. And, you know, maybe I need a plumber or maybe I need, you know, a CPA. We are just there to help every step along the way to make those businesses not only just open their doors and get their doors open and open their doors, but to remain open to service the community. And so a ribbon cutting is just such a great marketing opportunity and it costs them nothing other than the membership. Right. Um, and so, you know, between Owen TV, which is a huge perk to have you all come out and film that, all of our, we invite all of our legislators from, you know, again, local, state, regional, and federal, and many times they will come out, present them with, with a certificate of recognition, as well as the chamber does that, the township does that. Um, and so then they have a whole wall filled with certificates of recognition <laughs> and it makes them look super legitimate and they just, they, they can feel the love from, you know, the community, but also our chamber board members are certain to be able, are certain to come out as well as our ambassadors and of course staff and you all. Mm -hmm. So the feedback that we get is just phenomenal. They feel so warm, you know, warmly welcomed and, yeah. and part of the community because sometimes they're not, you know, they're coming from a different location yeah. and for them to instantly have credibility and have this base of people that they can call on when they need to, it's a win-win. Yeah, it's really great to see like other business uh, owners coming out to support that new business. And I'm sure there's some networking going Absolutely. on, you know, like there might be, like you said, maybe a local plumber attends and they go, hey, I need some plumbing done. So it's a really great opportunity. And you know, I, I go out, I, I cover these, I shoot video, and it becomes sort of routine because we do so many of these throughout the year and I crank them out pretty quickly, you know. And what I don't realize is even though it's, I do a lot of these, for each business owner, it's their first time being a part exactly. of that and seeing that. And I get feedback saying, it's the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I I'm know. like, but it's so easy for me to do. <laughs> and so. it's easy for the chamber too. You know, <laughs> we have our list, we send it out and they get numerous email blasts out to our email list is, you know, over 2000 people. So even if they aren't there in attendance, they know that this new business has come in. So yeah. it's super exciting. And again, the chamber is all about, you know, welcoming new businesses, but also helping the businesses that exist sustain and um, be able to be profitable. Yeah, yeah, and, and these ribbon cutting ceremonies that uh, we have, they're not just for new businesses, but you celebrate anniversaries Absolutely. and milestones or renovations or expansions, so yeah. Absolutely, and yeah. again, that is a you know complimentary service that all chambers across the nation you know, um, offer. And it's just one of the many benefits. And it's one of our favorite things to do. I mean, yes. absolutely. Yeah, don't get out of the office on a beautiful summer day. Right, uh, exactly. <laughs> and everybody's always in such a good mood because, you know, it's a celebration. And, yeah. you know, and it also gives us an opportunity to meet these business owners, not only them, but usually their families, their colleagues, their friends, because we encourage them to invite you know, invite their support system. So right. it's fun. I mean, at Spresser Ogden, we saw the dog, the mascot, you know, was oh, there yeah, in was the center me, in the yeah. pictures. And, <laughs> and, you know, generally a lot of times if it's a young business, they'll have their family members. And I always tell them, make sure you thank your husband, your wife, your family, your parents, <laughs> whomever helped make this special day happen. That's awesome. So if there's a business out there seeing this and they're like, that sounds like a lot of fun, how do they, 
go about becoming a, a member of the chamber? Really, it's Joyce and Jillian. So all you have to do is just call the chamber office, ask for Joyce or Jillian, or you can shoot us an email, Joyce at Orion Area Chamber, Jillian at Orion Chamber. We can put that at the bottom of the, uh, the screen and you can just call us and you can also, um, our application is online. So a lot of times we'll come in on Monday morning and you know, we'll have like three new members because they've had the time to do it over the weekend. Yeah. And I just want to say, you know, look for even more really great things happening. Um, not only this fall, but I mean, we're already booking into next year right now. But we have, you know, we do our small business walks now three times a year where we go into, you know, 100 businesses at a time on a on a Friday or a Thursday and say, hey, thank you so much for just keeping your doors open. And we give them a treat, whether it's Hershey Kisses at Valentine's Day for um, to celebrate Valentine's Day or, you know, at Christmas we do a holiday cookies. And then um, when we just did our legislative walk in downtown, we did a beautiful chocolate. So, yeah. and again, there's no agenda there. It's just like, thank you so much for taking the time to make your business successful and keeping your doors open, servicing our Orion area community. One thing I did want to ask you before we wind up this segment, uh, you usually celebrate the end of the year with the Chamber Impact Awards. When are you going to start taking nominations for uh, for uh, people who've had an impact on the community. <laughs> yeah, we're super excited about that. Um, we'll be having it once again at the beginning of December. Um, I'm hoping to maybe bring a few new awards this year, Ooh. but do look for those application forms to be coming out probably early fall. Um, we are kind of looking at them, reevaluating, and also I'm hopeful to add a few more awards because everybody deserves an award for <laughs> just being in business. <laughs> That's right, I'm looking forward to it. Joyce, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Uh, it's You've really been a shot in the arm for the chamber. Definitely. So many fun events and, and things that I look forward to attending, and I'm sure right. as your members do. So yeah. keep up the great work Definitely. over there. Definitely, thank yeah. you. And do check out our website. We add new events on a weekly basis. So there's a lot more than what we spoke about here. So we look forward to seeing you.